I don't think there's anyone at this point that hasn't heard of uh, Super Street Fighter 4. But if there are, if I was to explain it to them really simply, in simple terms, I would say think of it as Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo 3. With Super Street Fighter 4, you might be wondering if we're going to do a bunch of updates like we used to do with Street Fighter 2. Right now, personally, I just want to take a break. You know, we've been doing this for a while. Um, I do think that uh, you know the game this time has been engineered in such a way that we can continue to update it as needed. So I do think that if players uh, let us know that they have certain requests, if they want to see some balance changes, uh, maybe even some new modes and stuff like that, we can think about doing some DLC. But uh, the, the kind of constant revisions and version ups, we're going to take a little break on that for the time being, I think. So as you may expect with an update like this, we've done a lot of balance adjustments. Um, I, I will tell you right off the bat, Sagat is still pretty powerful. Um, you know, he's got the same combos he had before that are strong. His Tiger Shot is still really effective. But we've also made it a little easier to hurt him. So we think he's going to be a little more balanced this time around. So if Sagat scared the crap out of you last time, don't let him worry you this time. Uh, you can start in fresh and see if you can't actually stand a chance against him now. Things have changed a bit. So as for this new character, Hakan, I can tell you a little bit about, a little bit about how we sort of devised this character when he came to be. Um, so basically, early on in the development, we knew that we wanted an additional character that was uh, kind of wacky, kind of unique, uh, settling in more on the humor side of things, such as we see with Blanca, Dalsim, that sort of character. We wanted something like that. So we basically spent some time where the dev team did a lot of research on YouTube. They rented a lot of videos to try and find some kind of unique fighting style that not everyone's familiar with, something that would lend itself toward this sort of unique and humorous character. And that's how we happened upon Turkish wrestling where these guys literally douse themselves in, in uh, you know, like olive oil and kind of grapple with each other. You know, when I first saw that, I thought, you know what, this could really work with the Street Fighter uh, kind of universe. So that's kind of how this character came about. Looks like it's time to oil up. So as far as the Street Fighter series itself is concerned and fighting games in general, you know, do I think they should all go 3D? Do I think we should kind of stop at 2.5D, so to speak. You know, I think there's room for a lot of fighting games out there, and some of them work really well in 3D. But for me personally, Street Fighter really is a 2D game. Um, we can play around with the visuals, we can use polygons, we can bring it up to snuff with the current generation, but the gameplay itself for Street Fighter, really personally, I think should be 2D. It's, it's the way that everyone knows how to play it. Uh, they don't have to learn it again from scratch, so I'd really like to continue uh, in the 2D or 2.5D, if you will, vein with the Street Fighter series, for sure. So when we were working on the original Street Fighter 4, we had considered putting bonus stages in, but really that was an arcade game at the time. And as we probably talked about before, a lot of arcade operators don't really dig the bonus stages because that's time that the user spent not fighting another person, not losing, therefore not putting more money in. Um, but I'm kind of taking the opposite track here by putting the bonus stages back in, by bringing the nostalgia factor out. I'm hoping that the uh, uh, people at Capcom will look at that and say, wow, that's really nostalgic, it reminds me of the arcade say, why don't we do an arcade version? So I'm kind of hoping to kind of use your first strategy this time, since there is no arcade version yet. Maybe this will kind of nudge people in that direction. Who knows? We'll see. So we're down to the wire now. We're getting really close. The Super Street Fighter 4 will be out in North America on April 27th. So when you go to the store on the 27th, and please do go to the store then, uh, I want you to take a really close look at the price tag. And notice this game's only $39.99. Compare that to Final Fantasy right next to it on the shelf. It's a good bargain, and uh, you know, times are tough right now with the economy, so you can get literally thousands of hours out of this $39.99 game. Can't go wrong. So hope to see you at the store on the 27th. <laughs> the other realm away. Ah!